All right, y'all, we got a new item. It's the new Milwaukee. Well, it's not new, new, but it's somewhat new. We got the cart. It's 48, 22, 85, 90. And there's the box. I just received it today. Uh, let me see. Let's see if you guys can see that. Dimensions are 43 point three inches by 26 that's the box so let's go ahead and get into this and uh, see what they got in there all right so let's go ahead and open the box uh, when you guys buy it to go pick it up you guys are gonna need help for sure the case is 161 pounds pretty heavy for a cart I didn't think it was gonna be that heavy thankfully they helped me at the store but uh, yeah it's pretty Pretty, pretty heavy. Get into this, see what they got. Got this. Boom. All right. Okay, so, bag instructions. Let me put these somewhere. Back to opening this. Okay. Uh, this looks like it's the top part. So, yeah, for sure this is a, it's either the top or the bottom. So, rid of this bag. More foam to protect it. Foam, foam. You got the edges right here. Okay, let me show you guys what's in here. Because from the looks of it, it's gonna take a while to set this up. So that's what's in there. I'll try to do my best to show what's everything, what's in the box and everything. So let's get into it. So that's it. Comes in the box. Try to explain everything over here. That's the bottom part. That's the top part. Those are the wheels. That's all the other stuff. I don't know what that is. But we got the the side things. The legs, I guess you want to call them. But all right, so on the instructions, it says you need a Phillips screwdriver, safety goggles 10 millimeter wrench and a 13 millimeter wrench so that's what you're gonna need to assemble this all right so let me go ahead and get that in all right so this this is what we got so far the bag that has the most screws is the one you're gonna use to put the legs on all right so the bag that has the most screws I think they're the Double A on the instructions, double A's, okay? All right, one more thing. On these, that little sticker has, it tells you where they go. So this one says left rear, so it's the back, the left, right? So the instructions, basically what it's telling you to do is put this one on the floor, the bottom part, to put it, set it on the floor, okay? So let's go ahead and Guys, this little thing right here, it's like a little knob, you'll see right here and uh, I guess the left, if you were facing the front drawer or the bottom, it's on your left hand side, that's going to be the left, so you guys won't want to get confused, so left, you're facing the, the drawer that opens up from the front. One more thing, for whatever reason on the instructions, it's only saying to put bottom two because there's more to put right here so it's just saying to put two on each side so that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just putting two I'm only doing hand tight I'm not too tight either just hand tight you don't want to mess up the screws or the all right so check it out I put um the foam that it comes with on the bottom and also those two screws that you put on here, don't don't tighten them up. Leave them a little bit loose, just cause um, you you need it to to move. So you could when you put it when you put the top part, so the legs what they could do so they could open up like that and have enough play to to mess with it, you know. But now let's put the other screws on the other side and uh, we should be. 
Hi, right, John. I'm going to put on my knee pads. I don't know if you guys can tell. A little bit of a Milwaukee fan. <laughs> but uh, I'm going to be on the cement, so I'm going to put on my knee pads. I don't want to be bringing my knees or whatever, but I'll do that. Alright, so let's check it out. Uh, for the left side, with those screws, I think it goes right there. That one, there's only one. This is only on the left side. I'm gonna double check. I'll let you guys know right now further on. The casters. So all the straight ones go on the back side, which is the right side. And then the swivel ones go right here on the left side. So what you wanna do is grab washer, nut, put it like that. That's where the 13 millimeter comes in handy for these, for the bottom one. Okay, just kidding. All right, so what I did is I went ahead and got me a ratchet. The other one, if you don't have a ratchet, obviously, just use the, what he's telling you, but it was kind of hard to get it in there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use the ratchet, obviously 13 millimeter. I'm not gonna tighten it up super, like hard or whatever just enough to get it in but first I have what I do is I'll put it you know, with my hand and then I'll screw it in because I don't want to um, I don't want to mess this up so there you go one more thing after you're done uh, putting it putting the legs on uh, just go back and tighten up the screws that you loosened up or that you didn't tighten up all the way just to kind of to get it you know so they won't loosen up or whatever you forget, or you forget more than anything so just go ahead and uh, tighten them up uh, and that's Okay, for the back wheels, one thing I noticed, they have a little, uh, I don't know what you call this, but to uh, grease them up. So um, I'm gonna put that facing out. So whenever if I do grease the tires, uh, it'll be more easier to grease them. So one thing. All right, so I got the wheels in. Uh, again, not too much, just enough. You don't wanna overdo it and mess up the a little screw thing, the screw nut or whatever. But uh, there's that. Let's see what's next. So now what's next is uh, just flip the cart over. Again, if, if you could get help, it's way better. I uh, mean, fortunately, I don't have nobody that can help me. <laughs> so it's okay. We'll get it done. No big deal. Only no scratch won't hurt. But uh, this thing is super heavy. So you can get a little cheapy cart or whatever. It is heavy for sure, and I thought it was gonna be smaller. It is uh, way bigger than what I thought, which is fine. But, uh, there it is. There it is, guys. So now we're gonna install the rest of the stuff, the hardware and all that. This one has a longer one. I don't know if you guys can see it right there, but it has a, um, let me take them out of the bag. It has a, something like that like that actually and two like this so that's the next bag all right so check it out so it's gonna go like this washer in there then the washer in here then you put it in like again super tricky but it's possible just gotta be patient super patient all right let's get it done All right, we got it in. A little bit of scratches right here. It's okay, it's gonna happen. You really gotta work this thing, like, like work it, work it, in order to make it fit. Then you get the other two washers and you put it in. Should be good? Let me show you guys. So, it's gonna be washer, the vinyl washer, vinyl washer inside, a little small washer in here, and then the screw. This little one right here, and then the screw. And you should be done with that. And then these right here, the last screws that come in that pack, it just depends how you want the, the handle down or up like that. I'm gonna try it up, see how it works. If it doesn't work out for me, then I'll just put it down, but, or maybe just take the whole thing off in general. I'm a little bit limited on my space right here in my garage, so we'll see how this works. 
Oh, and those screws I was talking about on this side, these right here, they do go right there where I was saying, because uh, these two are for this. So just make sure and uh, pay attention to that when you put when you put these in on the, the left side. Make sure you put them in the middle hole right here. Not this one, not this one, the middle one. All right. Uh, I don't think it's that hard to put these. It's the next bag with the small little screws. Uh, I don't know how many come in. I'm guessing 12 or so, but it's the next one. And uh, you put the bumpers. I'll check right now exactly where. I'm still not too sure. But you put these next. I'm guessing the bottom. All right, y'all bumpers. Only the front where the handle's at doesn't have bumpers. All right, so don't try to put bumpers over there. Nothing's just the two front, not four corners on the bottom. So that's it for that. All right, so where you want to see where bumpers go, that's where you see these little things right here, these tabs. That's where the bumpers go. Only, uh, I think, six corners have that. So that's how it is again. Don't, don't tighten them up too much. You don't want to overdo it. But, uh... All right, y'all, so we got all the bumpers on there. All the corners it has. There it is. I pulled these trees out of the box. That's not next. What's next is this little, I guess you put paper towels on here. Uh, I'm guessing you can put it on either hole that you want. This one, this one, or this one. Either of those. Uh, I'm going to put it on the top one. See. Uh, one more thing that I forgot. There's one more bag that comes with four screws. They go right here. This for your chargers. The M18 or M12 chargers. That you can put them right here. You just and clamp them down. And you should be good with that. That's what those are for. Just let you know. Alright, so I actually got these little cups. Come with it, they go over here. You just uh, put them in and twist them. They should grab. Alright, John, these right here go in front of the cart. There's like little slots in front of the cart. Just go on there, nothing, nothing to it. Have little hooks. Just stick them on there. And uh, like I said, I'm putting all this together right now just because. I want to see how I'm gonna I'm gonna modify this to my liking. But for now, I'm just doing everything that the instructions are saying. Um, yeah. So cups. You don't want the cups actually. You can turn them around. And just uh, put them in. Flip them over. And you don't have the little cuppy things or whatever to put pans, rulers, whatever. So you just flip them around and do that. Um, there's a little thing back here. Uh, I'm gonna install this right here for sure. I, uh, I'm gonna use this for my laptop actually. So let's see how I install that. Let's see how that. One thing, these little tray things. I just noticed this. Uh, I have it right here in the front too. So you can put them either inside the roller thing too, or the paper towels. You can put them on the back too if you want. So either either side. Let me show you guys down here. This is a little flat. You want to open this up? Bring it down. There it is. Nothing to it. So, and so after you're done assembling it like that, they give you another bag that's full of screws. Those go where you didn't see the screw. Where you didn't put it. That's basically to finish the job on screwing this thing together. So you want to go ahead and uh, do that. Except this one right here. This is where this, if you want this down, that's where that one's gonna go. So don't put nothing there unless I think you could actually put one there. I'll, I'll check it out right now. Comes with these two four screws. You go right here. It's for the cord. To wrap the cord around. So that's what I was missing right there in one of them. Let's go. Let's go. Alright y'all, so there it is. There's a cart. Uh, pretty impressed. I uh, thought it was going to be smaller. For sure smaller. Uh, my final thoughts on this. Um, build good. Really good quality. Uh, worth the 400 uh, For me, yeah. If I was to use this every day, of course. Uh, way, I mean, can't go wrong with this. Uh, it could go cheaper, yeah. It could. Uh, I got it uh, cheaper, for sure, on sale. I think it was 20% off or something like that. Um, if you could buy it assembled, I would recommend 
bind it assembled if you want to save the headache. Uh, it's not that hard though. Uh, it took maybe an hour. Let to know how you guys have help. I'm pretty sure you'll get this done in 30 to 40 minutes, maybe less. Uh, but all in all, really good quality. Uh, I want it. So when I'm doing stuff right here in the garage, you know, I put all my tools on, you know, instead of having it on my workbench, I just go ahead and throw it, throw them on here to get my workbench clean. You know, the, the stuff I usually use the most. But um, yeah, it's really good. Uh, I give it a 10 out of 10 for sure. Uh, I'm six feet tall. It's like up to here. So it's it's uh, six one, whatever. Uh, yeah, I, I'm really impressed with this car. For sure, heavy duty. Uh, for sure, good quality. And uh, whatever you guys think, uh, just go ahead and. Uh, Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys on the next.